Welcome to a vintage cube draft. Thanks to uh, coronavirus, Wizards has thrown up vintage cube as a way to keep people occupied. And this is a very exciting booster pack. All right, so <laughs> choice of two moxes. Um, both of them are really good. I think I will go with mox sapphire just because blue tends to be better in cube. But the uh, person on my left is going to be very happy at getting past a mox. Um, there's a lot of decent th stuff that could wheel. Well, let's see. So the Mox is going to get taken. Might see Mishra's Factory, Seething Song back. Ooh, wow. Oh, so much good stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go for Opposition here. Uh, Opposition's just a really messed up card. Uh, other things that look good are Narset. Thief of Sanity is pretty strong. Um, there's a lot of ways to deal with it, but if it does get hits in, it basically wins the game. Uh, but I'm going to just snap off opposition here, and let's see. So I think with opposition, I'm best served by some kind of blue-green build, uh, which means I want to get as many creatures as possible, and I want blue-green fixing. Botanical Sanctum looks good, but it is most likely to... Well, it has a decent shot of wheeling, and it's less good of a land than um, Tropical Island or Breeding Pool or a Fetch Land or something like that. So I'm going to go for Findhorn Elves and hope to wheel Botanical Sanctum. And here I can get an Arbor Elf as just another Elf and hope to wheel Crassus or Crater Hoof, although it's possible that I just want to take the Hoof um, because Crater Hoof is like your best green payoff, and then this is more likely to disincentivize people from being green. Mm, I think I've talked myself into Crater Hoof, but the, the, other, um, the other elf was pretty close. Here I think it's a pretty easy devoted druid. I like Thrawn Dynamo in general for ramp, but with Crater Hoof in opposition, I basically just want to take as many creatures as I possibly can. Maybe a bit of card draw or some Garooks could also be good. Um, so I'm looking to be base green. I've got this Mox for fixing for blue, and then, you know, just enough blue lands to play opposition, maybe upheaval if I see that, and then try to get a bunch of ramp. Uh, Noble Hierarch, definitely the best Monodork I could get, since it would tap for blue. Uh, Birds of Paradise, also pretty good. Um, Plow Under, I would normally take here, but let's just take the Elvish Mystic and try to get all the uh, good green one-drop Acelerants. Especially since I've already passed the um, Arbor Elf, so that's not really an option. I guess Arbor Elf could wheel. It depends on how many green drafters are there are. I have a feeling there's no green drafters, because I guess I got... I went Mox Sapphire into opposition and then just get a bunch of good green stuff, so Deranged Hermit with Crater Hoof and Opposition is obviously broken, and uh, this looks like the start of a very, very good green draft, which is kind of nice. The last, well, all of the drafts that I've done since this cube has come online were all um, base blue, like blue-black something, so it's good to get some variety. Reclamation Sage is good. I might start in the board, I might start in the main. Uh, Sword and Feast of Fanman was the other consideration, but for now I'm, I'm just happy taking any creature that is, you know, on a decent rate. Um, I don't want Secure Tri Builder because it's mostly land-based ramp and I want creature-based stuff, and Garuk the Relentless can spit out wolves, so works very well with opposition. Um, can find Crater Hoof potentially. Uh, Relentless is a solid card. Um, Rafelos would be great, and then Breeding Pools, I suppose. Um, next pick... No, not next pick. It's the pick after this one, so I have a choice between Regrowth, Porcelain Legionnaire, and Mutavault. It's actually a tough pick. I don't like Porcelain Legionnaire in green. I think I can do better for two drops. 
Um, the question is how much, how good is Mutavolt in green? And I tend to feel that it's less important. I'm gonna go for regrowth in case there's any really broken things that I can regrowth back. Heartbeat, none of this is really stuff I'm looking to play, so I'll grab Manamorphos for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so there is another green drafter who took the elves and stuff like that. So I'll take Terastodon. Maybe I maybe there's a universe in which play, I tr play Treasure Cruise, but there's not one where I played that other stuff. Ooh, Edric. Edric is not bad. All right. Um, yep, yeah, Rafelos. Yeah, I passing the tropical island does cause me physical pain, but Rafelos is too good. Uh, just the best mana accelerator you can possibly get. Um, <laughs> uh, Incubation Druid, I think it's a good two drop. It can fix for blue if I get a blue land, which is fairly important for the opposition. And uh, the other two lands here are tempting, but not quite what I'm looking for. So, Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch. Um, Breeding Pool or Misty would both be good as well. Uh, and then from there... Uh, let's see. I do like me a Witness. I think Witness is probably worthwhile. Uh, if there were less decent options, then I'd be taking... Interesting. Um, I think Biogenic Ooze is going to wheel. I don't think I'm in a position for Mind's Desire. Walking Ballista could be good. Karn could be good. But I think I'm going to take Ulamog. It looks like I'm going to end up with a lot of big creature, a big, big mana ramp. And I think Ulamog is probably the best Eldrazi. Uh, because one attack from Ulamog wins the game. And uh, the cast trigger is really good. Uh, so here it's between, like, Embrical, The Promised End, and Den Protector. I think with a Crater Hoof and an Ulamog, I'm pretty good in the expensive creatures department, so I'll just get the extra regrowth. Um, uh, let's see. Is there a world where I play Dak Faden? I don't think so. I could get just Carnage Tyrant in case I play against a matchup where it feels like Carnage Tyrant would be worth boarding in. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, sort of Fire and Ice isn't terrible. There's a chance I play it. Uh, Pelucranos, hopefully not, but you know, if I need middling green, then I need middling green to fill out the curve. I'm really wishing I could find some good lands. Um, that's, I think, what I'm lacking right now, because I really, really wish I could get that trot back. I, I think Rafelis was the correct pick, but um, I, I want trop. <laughs> I want trop and some green fetches. I think I'm going to really try to prioritize green mana from here. Uh, there's no chance I'm playing any black spells, I don't think, so there's no point in taking blo Blooming Marsh. Fauna Shaman is pretty mediocre. So is Elves of Deep Shadow. None of this is getting played. Urza could make the cut. Um, Urza does make a creature for opposition and Crater Hoof and does draw cards, so is a pretty decent thing to ramp out quickly. Uh, Alright, so... Oh, why? All the stuff I want. Like, do I pass Mox Monocrypt for, like, Birds of Paradise? This hand's... this pack is nuts. Um... God. God. <laughs> I 
this pack is pretty close to good enough that if you ask me, like, you want to just take four picks without looking at the next pack, I'd be like, yeah, I want all four of those really badly. Um, I think it's got to be some of the artifact mana. It's just too broken to not... Like, I could go with turn one Garuk or Karn if I take Mana Crypt. I think Mana Crypt is better than Mox Pearl, because Mox Pearl is essentially colorless at this point. And I think I'd rather get two... Okay, yep. Breeding Pools. Easy pick here. Um, Gaia's Cradle. Yeah, I do want Gaia's Cradle. Okay, so those two, those two picks were really nice. Um... Uh, it's like time. It's between Time Warp and Vivian. Uh, time Warp is double blue, and I think double blue is going to be a little bit hard for me to get. But um, with Eternal Witness and Den Protector, if I can start going off with Time Warps uh, and recurring them, I think that's just too good to pass up. Natural Order Crater Huff is pretty good, but I think I can wheel Natural Order since none of the uh, none of the good cards for it. Really, um, I mean, the, the ones you want are like Crater Hoof, um, Terastodon, and one other thing Finale of Devastation. So, for three mana, I could get one of these elves, for four mana, I could get a Fellows, for five, I could get like a Den Protector or something. And then, if I've got tons of mana, it does stuff. Uh, I think the finale will wheel, so it then becomes between Trigon and Scavenging Ooze. I think I will go for the Trigon Predator. Ooh, Oracle of Moldaya, yes. Thrag Tusk would have been nice, but Oracle's definitely the pick. Um... I mean, none of those are getting played, so... Uh, Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Creatures have Flash. I mean, I think I'm more likely to play it than Wall of Blossoms. <gasps> Bird's Wield! Yes! Yes, some blue fixing. Ah, oh, perfect. Alright, so I'm at 23 spells right now. Not counting the Moxins. Uh, tooth and Nail. Do I want Tooth and Nail? For 9 I can get like a Crater Hoof and a Dulamog. Um, it's like that or Master of the Wild Hunt. I think I'm going to take Master of the Wild Hunt actually. It's a, it's a pretty decent card. Um, yeah, not playing that. Natural Order Wield. Good. Good, good. Yeah, I'll take natural order for... Nobody was in mono red this draft. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be in for Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, I think... So I want, I want to play 16 lands, I think. Um, I think I'm going to shave the time warp. Just costs double blue. It's going to be hard to resolve. Let's see, so that makes a creature. That makes it. So these are all essentially creatures. So our Natural Order and Finale of Devastation. Uh, 24 spells, two of them are Accelerants. So I would add, yeah, all right, this looks good. Uh, let's add, I think, I think just one island might be enough. Might be a little on the low side, but um, I do want to have as many forests as possible for Rafellos. 
and I have Sapphire as a blue source, I have Birds of Paradise as a blue source, and I have Incubation Druid as a blue source. So I've got four blue sources. There are five blue sources. Five blue sources. That might be enough to cast Opposition. And I'm ready to side in Sword of Fire and Ice or something, depending on the opponent I'm playing against. Hmm. Alright, well, this this is a hand. can do a few things. Um, if I could get... Don't really know what I'm looking for, but... Oh, Karn is... Karn is pretty good. Definitely going to be able to turn three Karn. Uh, I could play Karn next turn if I draw one of my two artifact manas. That'd be worth it. And Karn's plus will definitely help me get the islands I need for opposition. flash white cards that would really punish me for attacking with the mystic there, but I suppose you never really know. I think I'm going to play Karn. And plus, I want to start getting myself uh, blue mana for the opposition. So I get a forest. And then next turn, I can play. Forest, Deranged Hermit, Tap Gaze, Cradle, 4, 7. My opponent is just doing nothing on those two planes over there. Moves to discard a... probably some non-white card. I'm guessing... or a Gideon Blackblade. Okay. My opponent might be like mono-white and kept a terrible, terrible hand. I suppose that's probably the case. Uh, Mock Sapphire and Birds of Paradise. Alright. So there's... Hmm. Uh, let's see. So... Let's go ahead. 5 mana, Deranged Hermit. Sorry if you can hear my roommate vacuuming in the background. My doors are closed, but um, that's all I can really do about it. So, I'll play the Deranged Hermit, tap for a lot of mana, and then I was going to adapt the uh, Incubation Druid and play the Birds of Paradise, and then next turn would be um, fetch out the Mox for Opposition, and my opponent's just super ultra dead. Seems like that's not necessary. Uh, playing against white, don't really feel like I need to make any changes right at this moment. Maybe, actually... Let's go down the Trigon Predator for Pelucranos. If I'm playing against a white deck, Pelucranos being just some big blocker is probably going to be pretty good, and they won't necessarily have a whole ton of artifact enchantments. I'm going to turn off my microphone for a bit.
All right. Slightly further away from just outside my room. Again, sorry about that. Fauna Shaman. At least Fauna Shaman is a creature, and therefore does make Guy's Cradle less shit. <laughs> Uh, I was really hoping that Birds of Paradise would live. I would have had a turn to uh, Oracle of Moldaya and potentially been able to get a bunch of lands off of it. But um, from here, I'm not sure what I do next. Finale of Devastation for an elf or a birds, maybe? Oh, that's not good. I suppose every land in my deck left is a basic. <laughs> uh, Edric is actually castable due to the mox, which is kind of nice. So let's mo just hope that my opponent does not have... Um, Removal for Oracle. Please no bolt. <laughs> Please no bolt. That's not good. That's not good at all. I'm not sure what my opponent's plan here is. Because it doesn't seem to me like just taking it from the Fauna Shaman is a tremendously good move, but... Alright, I'll take my card. Witness. Not what I was hoping. I just want another forest. find it funny that I'm playing 14 basic lands and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting got by Magus of the Moon. Right. Well, that is actually fine. So I take 7 down to 9, but my opponent's pretty low on cards and it's unlikely to have another um, spell. My opponent is not low on cards and is likely to have another spell. Okay. Pelucranos feels pretty good here. Potentially, if my opponent doesn't have another removal spell. Young Pyromancer. Okay. Please no swords. <laughs> Please no swords. Instantly play swords. Ah, uh, yes. Alright. Um... So, I don't want Ulamog or Finale, or Natural Order. Just, they got too much removal, those cards are not going to be super effective. I think... Uh, don't need Reclamation Sage either. Sort of Fire and Ice. And... Vivian and Carnage Tyrant, potentially, are more what I'm looking for. I could also look at Metamorphose as a way to turn uh, green into other colors. Wow. 
This hand has no ramp. I think that says all I need to say about it. All right. This hand is a ramp. I think I just bought him a forest. And lead on Elvish Mystic. All right. Well, I've got nothing to do with my mana, but I'm going to have a lot of it if my opponent doesn't kill everything. Really, all I need to do is just draw, like, Crater Hoof and dodge removal spells for a few turns, and I should be set. Fireball, yes. It's certainly one of the harder matchups, the uh, only removals done deck. Might be tricky. All right, let's see if he's got removal for Raphelos. If he doesn't, then things could be good, especially if I draw a forest. Looks good. be whiffing on creatures, but my opponent has not killed all my stuff yet, so... Uh, whiffing on lands, sorry. Okay. So let's play... Birds of Paradise. That taps for three. Play Vivian. Vivian can minus four a creature. Uh, so I just want a creature, so there's no reason not to take Finhorn Elves. Any order on the bottom. I get another forest, which lets me tap this for three, four, five, and play Finhorn Elves and Pelucranos. Okay. I have a lot of mana for that Pelucranos next turn. <laughs> that is going to be able to get really, really big. If it doesn't get Sword's turn, which it does. I think I'm going to chump with the Findhorn Elves on the Monastery Swift Spear to keep the extra... to get the extra activation of Vivian. And I'd rather have Birds of Paradise in case having blue is relevant some point slightly later for opposition or something like that. I suppose the opposition thing isn't going to be relevant because I'm going to put that on the bottom as I go ahead and grab I think Carnage Tyrant sounds about right um, so let's see, I want to play Carnage Tyrant I could I'm not getting any more lands this turn so let's go ahead and tap that for three cast a morph Two for the Devoted Druid. Six for the Carnage Tyrant. And then I can... One more mana, I can turn Den Protector face up and get back Vivian and start impulsing again. Or not impulse. Uh, I don't know. Dig for, dig for creatures. 
think the Carnage Tyrant's going to do it, because I don't see how red-white with a bunch of spot removal is going to really beat up on a 7-6 Trample. Hexproof. Land. Might as well play the Mox. Get back Vivian. Play Vivian. And minus. Let's see if I get. Oh, I sided out Ulamog. Oh. The range tournament does a pretty good job, anyways. Might as well play Forest. Honestly, I don't see how my opponent comes back from this. I guess they could potentially have a Wrath, but that doesn't seem super likely to me. And Dreadhard Arcanist is not doing the trick. Yeah. Uh, there's a good chance I would have just been able to get... So I would have drawn the forest, and then Vivian Minus would have seen... Nothing, I suppose. Okay. Well, on to the next match. I think I just attacked for a lethal, even if I hadn't hit the crater of that turn. Magic Online is really, really popular right now. <laughs> 4,000 people doing Vintage Cube. Nice. That is awesome. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well in their uh, quarantine. I hope you're all relaxing, staying healthy. Uh, hope your families are all right. Silver linings, at least you get to play some games once in a while. Alright, so next turn will be a Oracle Moldaya. Ooh, playing against green. I like playing against green from here because I think that I probably am ramping a little bit better. Okay, Oko is pretty good. Uh, uh, that is true. Heads, I lost the flip. Alright, so let's go ahead and play... A couple creatures. Yeah, he can turn Rafalos into an elk. But honestly, I have a ton of mana, and this guy's cradle is not going to get elked, so... Eh? Um, how much mana do I have? Probably enough, right? Alright, here's five. Let's play Deranged Hermit. And then this is eight. Nine. Ten. Search library. <laughs> he doesn't even see what the payoff is. <laughs> but I think that's enough. <laughs> make a 2020 trampling Gula mug and make my Oracle of Moldaya into a 1313 trample. Well, in the Battle of the Green decks, I know who came out on top that time. Um, I think, yeah, this is exactly the setup I want to play. I want to have against another green player. Um, yeah, sure, this looks keepable. I have ramp. 
I need something to do with it. But Let's play Rafelos, play Mana Crypt, and cast Den Protector face down. <sighs> My Mana Crypt, no. That's fine. I can just get it back with um, with Den Protector. I imagine he makes his food into an. Oh, he swamps. Food for the Rufellos. Ah, clever, clever. Alright, so... Let's turn this face up. Get back the my crypt. Kill Oko. Hey, he also has Mock Sapphire. And then play Derange Tournament. He also has Derange Tournament. Okay then. So let's go ahead not pay Echo. I win the flip. Nice. Let's attack with all of these. That was a mistake. Should have witnessed first, so I could use the gayest crit on Mana. Mana. Uh, okay, so I have up to uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's play witness. Get back that. I guess this is fine. Play the Hermit. Play the Breeding Pool. What does he have for six? Crassus? Big Crassus. Alright. Well, I should say I shouldn't say big Crassus. That's just a medium Crassus at best. Um I do want to pay for the Hermit. Hey, I want to flip. Um, might as well just attack with everything. Suppose he can trade with the Hermit and make my squirrels smaller. Might have not been the best play. But he's going to take a bunch of damage. Let's put the fin horn. Go ahead and eat my food. Um, so I need something to do with all this mana. I think Finale of Devastation, Natural Order, Crater Hoof, Ulamog. Um, one of the Planeswalkers, there's, there's a lot of things that could really, really help here. Morph, alright. So I'm gonna bet that's a Den Protector. Natural order, sacrifice a squirrel. Crater hoof. 
End game. Nice. Nice. All right. On to the finals. Let's see if I can turn this into another trophy. I don't know if people enjoy watching Vintage Cube, but... Well, I know some people do, because I love watching Vintage Cube. I don't know if my Vintage Cube videos are interesting. But this is such a fun format to play. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I should put some more practice into modern... Uh, earlier today, it was announced there were going to be a bunch of, like, uh, super challenge things on Magic Online to make up for the fact that, uh, Paper Magic is slowing down because of coronavirus, um, which I'm really thankful to Wizards that they're like, hey, you know what, let's do something exceptional because people are in... stuck inside. That's quite nice. Um, uh, this hand is okay. I wouldn't call this one good, but, um... I can... I have turn 1, 2, and 3 plays. Oracle is a nice thing to ramp into a little bit. Um, maybe I'll find the blue for opposition. Maybe I won't. But if I do, it'll be great. So yeah, I should I should practice some modern. Does anyone know? Um, feel free to respond in the comments of this video. Uh, Assuming it's somewhere soon after the video is published. Uh, like, if you know uh, of what a particularly good modern deck is, uh, I haven't really played it very much recently. I've been playing Pioneer for the most part. Um, haven't been making videos because I've mostly been playing bad decks that amuse me, but uh, maybe I should put some videos up of bad decks that amuse me and see if other people like them. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, if you know of something that's good and on meta for, um, or good and off meta, honestly, uh, for modern, uh, might be nice to play in a few of these tournaments. Opponent with the very strong start of Mox Emerald and land. Dismember? Okay. Ugh, that doesn't feel very good. Uh, Blue-white, potentially. I'm not going to make any assumptions as to my opponent playing green, because you just take a mox if you can get a mox. Uh, mm, as much as I want to play this Devoted Druid, I think I'm going to just run out this Den Protector as a thing to trade with Geist of St. Traft. Because uh, just letting Geist of St. Traft attack for a couple turns is an easy way to lose the game very quickly. Let's see if my opponent's got removal. Okay. Banishing Light for the protect Den Protector. Devoted Druid. Take six down to eight. Let's hope my opponent's kind of running out of nasty stuff that he can do to me. Simic Signet is a thing that I enjoy seeing over there, and... I think I will go for the Master of the Wild Hunt because it survives a uh, Geist of St. Traft attack. Uh, and then I'll save the Oracle of Moldiah for the next turn. So far, no signs of my opponent having... Um, Good answers left. Um, I don't feel the need to... Hold off on attacking with the Master of the Wild Hunt, but actually I will. Um, 
put the minus one minus one counter on the devoted druid to play the incubation druid. This way, if I find a single island next turn, I will be able to play opposition because the incubation druid will be able to tap for blue. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and start attacking with these two. And then I'll adapt the Incubation Druid at the end of his turn. I think my opponent's dead next turn, unless they get something very good. Because this Finale of Devastation should basically finish them. Giver of Runes doesn't matter. So they pretty much need a Counterspell, I think. So, how much mana can I produce? I can only produce 8 mana, actually. Huh. Uh, what do I get with 8 mana that does something significant? just cast it, because why not? I don't even think there's a 6-drop I can get that's super relevant. Eh, screw it. Deranged Charm is probably good enough. And there's a Crater Huff on top. Okay. Well, that'll help solve the problem. And then... I'll attack with two wolves. And then tap the last wolf to kill the Giver of Runes. So, do they have a Wrath? Short of Wrath, I don't see a whole lot of answers to this board position. They're dying even without the Crater of, so... I suppose this game is showing the potential folly of my uh, deck construction and that I drew every blue card and none of my blue sources, but got there anyway, so eh. Mana Vault is not the answer. And... What's this last card? Nine mana. Angel of Serenity. All right, that's a pretty good one. Not good enough, though, because I still have enough to just attack for lethal. Block two of the two twos, and then there's eight damage that gets through anyways. So, opponent is very dead. Why not? Okay. Against blue group. Blue-white stuff. Um, I do want Reclamation Sage. Is there anything here I don't want? Fauna Shaman kind of sucks. Let's do that. I feel good about this one. I think I'm going to win. If I can draw decent hands, which this one is... Decent. 
uh, ramp out like Master of the Wild Hunt, Deranged Hermit. If I could get a Gaia's Cradle, that would really ramp things pretty hard. Mana Vault. Well, Mana Vault is a very good way to get on the board fast. Leading with the birds gives me the possibility of you tapping it for blue next turn, or green if I find Rafalos. Uh, I lose out on the possibility of dealing one damage to my opponent, but I feel like that's probably ultimately worth it, even though in this case it didn't pay off. So what I don't know is what my opponent has. Probably just going to play the Master of the Wild Hunt next turn. Um, hmm. He's got another Signet, sure. I'd really like one of my Planeswalkers. That would make me feel good about this position in the face of a potential Wrath. Crypt. Um, I think I'm actually gonna finale of devastation for Oracle of Moldia. As weird as that sounds, it's gonna help me make sure that I draw only relevant spells. There are other things that are very tempting to go for, though. But Edric will be pretty good next turn. If my opponent doesn't wrath. Because uh, it's going to potentially draw me two cards. But my opponent has a lot of mana. Seven mana? Nine mana? Oh, man. A lot of artifact mana. Could be uh, the Angel of Serenity. That could happen. In fact, I think that's what I would bet on. But Fractured Identity. Opponent gets Oracle of Moldaya. I'm not much of a fan of that one. Uh, so I will flip heads, lose the flip. Play Edric. Play Master so that I can kill his Oracle next turn. Honestly, in the face of Fractured Identity, there's worse things that could happen than my opponent getting to take the Oracle of Moldaya away from me. They have a lot of broken mana. Holy shit. Mana Vault, Mana Crypt, and Lotus. That is some ramp. I guess I just have to hope that their hand is garbage, because they certainly get to cast anything they want. Angel of Serenity? Ah, uh, Elspeth. How bad is Elspeth for me? Hmm. Not, not great, but at least I do get to kill this oracle. Ooh, Trigon Predator. Yeah. Trigon Predator. Mm. 
nice thing is that the Elspeth plus ability does not really... Oh, force on the Trigon Predator. Or the Elspeth minus doesn't threaten my board. So I'm going to just... Wait on this... On the draw step to see if I should kill his Oracle this turn, or if I can potentially hold off and decide to master the wild hunt something else. Opponent is also going to take damage from their mana vault. So, because the top card is a planes, I do want to kill that. Hero of Bladehold. Giver of Runes. E. Um, okay, so, yes, I do want to play Echo, please don't lose the flip, what, that was nowhere close to me winning, that, what, what, I can't go back to the, well, okay, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose I'll take it. <laughs> um, I feel like my opponent might have just been able to like attack with Hero of Bladehold and threaten to kill me pretty hard. But I guess a win is a win. See you next time.